So, uh, this is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. And my partner, my brother, Darian. So, um, what I wanted to talk about today is how to avoid problems in lawn care. First off, one of the ways of how to avoid problems in lawn care. Bell song. Double check. I'm gonna make sure this hitch is on tight. <laughs> Double check the hitch. That's that is that's a good way to avoid problems in lawn care. Making sure that the hitch or your trailer don't go rolling off on the highway. And I guarantee you, we ain't the only one. It don't happen to. Alright, we good. So how to avoid problems in lawn care. Number one, and this is the most important one. This is the most important one you gotta do. You can't. You can't avoid problems in lawn care. They're coming. So, the number one thing is to get your mind right. That problems are going to happen. Okay? So that's number one. Get your mind right, knowing that problems are going to happen. Number two, once you identify a problem, remember. Remember that problem existed. You know why? Because you're going to come up with a policy to avoid that problem problem in the future I'll give you one um our deck this morning on our um on our stand on more it wasn't cutting even um darren had told me about it so we had avoided due to the fact that it's raining today got a light drizzle we said look we're gonna take the time to um you know level the deck well guess what we doing as we trying to level the deck we find out what the the left tire was flat. The left tire was flat. So, you're going to have issues when it comes to cutting level. That's right. Check your air pressure. Yeah. Yeah. And we ain't think about it. We, we move. Now, even though we put the air in it, it, it gave us maybe, um, what? About a quarter. quarter it gave us a quarter of an inch. It was a quarter of an inch off. So, we still had to um, fix the deck and... After we did it, it was easier to fix. All right, so that's one. Learn the problems and then develop a policy for next time. So next time we get ready to level the deck, we know we're gonna check the air pressure first. That's the one of the first thing we're gonna do. The second way to avoid the problem. Now, now I know you're gonna say, well, that's not avoiding the problem. Well, guess what? I already told you, you can't avoid them. So, the next thing I think you should do is you should have ownership. Like, who deals with that problem? Do I deal with that problem? Does the customer deal with that problem? Does my partner deal with that problem? Do our workers deal with the problem? So, I'm giving an example of that. Let's say, for example, we going out and we cut a yard and they came back and said, hey, uh, y'all left a lot of weeds around the house and we go, man, that's a weed eating issue who problem is that now initially it is our problem in other words we're gonna tell the customer sorry about that we're gonna come out and straighten it out but we gotta come up with a policy to make sure that our guys who does our weed eating they don't skip out so one of the policies we develop is we have to check the work that's what we gotta do we gotta go back and check the work and i guarantee you i guarantee you that problem happened at the end of the day not in the beginning. A lot of times we're really strong. Even myself, I'm good. Towards the end of the day, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I may miss a, a few spots. Not because I want to, because my fatigue set in and I'm missing it. So one of the things that we have to do is make sure that uh, we got a positive where we check behind each other. The guy on the mower knows all the spots that needs to be hit with the weed because he didn't cut it. He couldn't cut it. So as he going around cutting the yard, you know, a lot of times I'll point to D and I got a signal and I do like that. I point and I do like that. And he knows that means that area needs to be weedy. See what I'm saying? Mm. Problem still came, but we came up with a policy of saying point, you know, cause you can't hear nothing on them doggone mowers. Okay. But it helps also if you are a cutter too, meaning that you ride the mower. You already in that mind frame of what a 
person is riding more kid than can I do. And you can all you can begin to see the angles. So you want me to get that, I'm gonna have to get that. And you can anticipate it. So you anticipate it earlier, then when the signal is given, it's just a reminder. You are already prepared and ready for it. So we went over three ways to avoid problems. And hopefully you'll realize that it's gonna be problems in lawn care and the unavoidable. And if I said that right, forgive me if I did. And this, and this, and this is always a learning business. You know, you wanna know your equipment, like for example, you, you wanna always treat your, the barrel of your shoe uh, on your board as if it's a gun. You don't wanna point it at nobody. You know, we were discussing today, we had a blade that was kinda damaged somewhere within the use. And it could have easily, that metal could have sprang off and hit a worker. You know, it'd be no, no, no different than propelling a bullet at them. But, you know, uh, a lot of times, you know, if you're not aware, you know, like some pieces of chunks of rocks or, or wood chips would hit your worker. So you want to be prepared and, you know, aware that, that you want to be aware and you want to make sure that your your uh, workers are aware when that moor is going by just in case you're not aware. Both people want to be accountable for that, for the protection. You know, you want to know where your outspout or where your weed eater is going. So you can learn your weed eater. Know where is it, where is it shooting in the break after it does the clippings. The customer was asking yesterday he didn't want clippings within the bed. And, you know, he's probably thinking, he said they, they're blowing the clippings in my bed. But the, the problem might be that the shoot from the weed eater is shooting it back in the bed. Or if you don't have a, uh, you don't have a board that has a that? mulch on demand. Mulch on demand, you might shoot it out. And depending on how high the grass is or when the last time had a service, the debris bounces off and then it spatters everywhere, and you might be doing everything right. So you got to be able to make sure to let the customer know this is not on you. This is their 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 grounds haven't been serviced in a while, and it's just too much debris. Can't contain it. That is exactly right, y'all. So, another way of avoiding problems is to know where problems start. So, Darren just hit it on the head. A lot of our problem starts not understanding our mores. A lot of our problem starts not understanding how the customer wants to be served. A lot of our problem starts when we don't take the time to do the things when you said. So, hopefully, this video helped out on ways to avoid problems. And, uh, like I said, one of the ways to avoid the problems is developing policies when problems happen. So you won't have to repeat it. All right, man. Cut on, Lawn Care family. Cut on. We're cutting out. Peace.